Brown is one and one. Lede walks one. Back and right. And at the wall, it's pulled down by Green. Sean Green was right there, but it's an RBI for Ricky Lede. And Yankee fans know their stuff. They give him a big round of applause. Martinez scores, and it's 3 3. Well, Ricky Lede about five feet from a hefty phone bill after tonight's game. Can you imagine <laughs> if this went out of the ballpark and he got on the phone to tell everybody, I took the rocket deep? And Rose just takes yep. one in the back. I thought he had a word or two for Clemens. Curtis certainly does. No question there was a little intent right there as Brocious uh, took the ball up the middle and has had a little success against Clemens this year. You see everyone on that Yankee bench reacting. But Joe Torre is going to say hey wait a minute what yeah. happened to the after home run sort of theory right. now, that ball didn't go out but. Yeah earlier this year we had an incident where Mike Stanton was ejected in the uh, umpires call. Had said anytime there's a home run hit and a pitcher does that the next time he's going out. Now there wasn't a home run hit, but clearly that ball was thrown with intent to hit Scott Brocious. Brocious with some words for Clemens. And you know, any ball thrown by Roger Clemens in the spine has got to really sting. And now Torrey's getting heated. And I, I got to tell you, I don't yeah. blame him. Because it all goes back to what happened to the Yankees in the Orioles series. This is as mad as we've seen Joe Torre, and now he's been ejected. Don't you think Mike Riley was in a position where he could have warned Clemens? Oh, no question. This is the same crew that was in Baltimore. Hirschbeck was behind the plate, and that's why Torre is upset. He ejected Mike Stanton, and he got suspended for a while. But because of who Clemens is, Nothing was done, and that's Joe Torrey's argument. That's not right. And the only way to answer this is get rid of the DH. You get rid of the DH, you allow the pitcher to hit, and then he has to take his medicine, no matter if you're a future Hall of Famer like Roger Clemens or anyone else. And Arabu with the first pitch goes right after Shannon Stewart, and Arabu wants nothing. And you know what? This is Mike Riley's fault. Arabu is furious being held by Stanton. So far, I haven't seen anything real ugly, but there's something developing. Girardi is involved. Look at Stanton lifting up Arabu. Now the bullpens come out. Shades of Baltimore. All we needed now, you're right, is one warning. That's all it had to be. All he had to do was warn Roger Clemens, which was obvious that it should have happened, and this doesn't happen. Instead, the Yankees are in a situation two weeks removed from the postseason where someone could be hurt. And stepped on her. Hey, it's in. Hey. And he's telling Mike Riley it's your fault. He's Absolutely. Yeah. And now they're getting over by the dugout steps where it got to with the Yankees and the Orioles. Well, Arabu making a statement for his team. It was the very first pitch. And now if a gets ejected this is ultimately and doubly unfair. Well you get the feeling that that could definitely happen. Now Clemens is talking to Chad Curtis who was screaming at him after the last pitch. Now Richie Garcia comes in and says enough. He wants him to get back in the dugout. Because he would be the one that somebody would go after on the field. See, he's talking to somebody saying, you want to pardon me? Yeah, it's Chris Chambliss. Chambliss came over and said something. And Darrell's over there, too. Now Bill Risley. And things get really ugly. And once again, Strawberry, I think, was involved. Not going to back down from anybody. And this is where people get hurt. Somebody gets stepped on. Uh, this is Remember, really all these guys are wearing spikes. Cleated shoes, lots of pushing, lots of shoving. O'Neill with Conseco. That's Jose Cardinal. I don't know who's on the bottom of that, but somebody got knocked over. Yep, now they're bringing him up. It's one of the Blue Jays. And now 
now interrupts again. Somebody got on their feet once again. Whoever it was on the Blue Jays that came to his feet reignited things. Strawberry being held by peacekeeper Mike Stanton. And Shannon Stewart being held by uh, what Tony Collinger. Is that Bill Risley? It was Risley who got behind Strawberry. There, there he is. He was knocked to the ground, but when he got up, he was willing to start all over again. Now this thing's not over yet. Well, that's why they used to call him Wild Bill Risley. The Rob with assistant trainer Steve Donahue. He wants to stay in the ball game. See, the point is nobody likes to be the target of anybody. Nobody goes up there with a target painted on their back. But when Clemens hit Brocious with no recourse from the umpire to say, hey, why did you, you know, give him a warning? The Yankees' only recourse was to retaliate. It was, the door was left wide open for them to throw at somebody. Absolutely. Here it is, first pitch of the fifth. You know, if I'm hitting, I got to expect it. Oh, right in the elbow. All right, now watch you, Rob, who come front. Hey. What's he saying? I don't know, but it was it was angry. <laughs> Look at him. That's Mike Stanton. Mike Stanton rescued two of his teammates. Hideki and Mel Stoudemire trying to hold Hideki back. And Don Zimmer was involved with Mike Riley after that. Now they're trying to get their pitcher into a, a safe haven. We are still awaiting the announcement from downstairs and here's some of the scuffle. This is after Darrell on the left there. Darrell. Uh oh. Ooh. That's Risley who took it wasn't it. I think so. Yeah. Well now we know the punches usually mean you're gone.